Roger Federer is the model of Swiss consistency on hard courts. An emphasis ATP Beyond the Numbers analysis of Federer holding serve in Melbourne the past two years, where he won both titles, shows he's held serve 90.8% of the time. In the full 2018 season on hard courts, Federer held serve 90.2% of the time. Here's old faithful. Federer is once again a contender at this year's Australian Open, and breaking him in Melbourne will be a tough ask. He lost serve 16 times to win the title in 2017, but only six times in 2018. The new Infosys Serve and Return Tracker identified Federer's favourite juice court first serve location on hard court in 2018 was out wide, where he directed 52.3% of first serves, winning a formidable 78% of those points. 40, 50, enjoyed that one. The Swiss also went wide in the ad court the majority of the time, hitting 50.5% of his first serves there, winning 78.8% of the points. Another strong favourite down under is world number one Novak Djokovic, who typically favours the return. He led the tour in 2018 with first serve return points won on hard courts, 33.2% of first serve returns from 37 matches. Great players have a knack for breaking at this very moment. It's not just those two legends in the mix, though. Alexander Zverev showed his talent at the end of 2018, beating both Federer and Djokovic on indoor hard courts at the NITO ATP Finals. Oh, what a, what a finish! In the first set of the London final against Djokovic, Zverev made 88% of his serves, winning 86%. With almost half of his first serves unreturned. Rafael Nadal is always a leading contender down under. The world number two won the Australian Open in 2009 and has been runner up on three other occasions. Look for Nadal's lefty first serve to primarily slice right down the tee in the juice court in Melbourne, mirroring his career hard court serve patterns. Next in line, there's another man who has an impressive hardcourt resume and a legitimate shot of going all the way in Melbourne. Kane Ishikori took the Brisbane international title to start his year, the Japanese winning an impressive 44% of all return points in the tournament. Grand Slam glory beckons once again. As always, the debate around the eventual champion will focus on who can master the serve and return.